Hi, I'm Frank Tate, CEO of Gulf Breeze Software Partners. I recently installed IBM's new Netcool Agile Service Manager, and I wanted to give a short video introduction to its capabilities. First, what does the UI look like? I'll log into my Dash install as the Omnibus root user to show you. Once you log in, you'll click the incident task over on the left and there you can see Agile Service Management and Topology Viewer is what we want to select. To view a topology, notice nothing's displayed right now, you need to specify a root or seed resource up here in the resource search. The search performed is not case sensitive and as you start typing you'll see a list of resources or nodes that you can select as the center of your topology. Select one of interest and then click browse topology. So I am going to uh, search for a node I created named time entry. So I'm gonna click on this little icon next to this guy and uh, I created this custom node using the file observer. Once viewing a topology, you can zoom in, zoom out, refresh, filter, etc. using the tools that are over on the, the left side of the, the canvas. You can also right click a vertex or node to get additional details, view events, or add in additional unseen neighbors for that node. Here, I'm going to view, right-click and view the resource details of the time entry application to see the properties of that node. I can see that I've got several properties here, including an owner. All, most of these properties I created myself. There are some standard properties that are defined, but any number of additional properties can be attached to any node. So let me sh show you the Omnibus node. So I'm going to right click and select Resource Details. And I can see additional properties associated with this node. Now, since time entry is red, I'm going to right click and select Get Resource Status. And this is going to show me uh, any events that are open against this particular node. Uh, here I see I have a critical event that's open against this node and I actually created this event, it's an omnibus event, to affect this node's status. I do also see a green check mark on my omnibus node. If I look at its status I can see uh, that there's that the status is all clear. There's a closed event associated with it. Additionally, in a topology, you can right-click on a node to add in its resource neighbors, its direct resource neighbors. So I'm going to do that on my Omnibus node. So I'm going to right-click and select Get Resource Neighbors. And now that's what's shown here my original search plus the direct neighbors of my Omnibus node. Now once you have a topology that suits your needs, you can actually copy the direct URL to that topology so you can use it from other tools. So I'm going to click in the three vertical dots in the upper right corner of the topology viewer and select obtain direct URL. So this is the URL for this topology. So I'll to show you how that works, I'm going to copy it and then I'll close that guy. I'll open a new tab and I'm going to paste in that URL directly and click enter and it takes me directly to that topology. So once you have a topology that works for you, you can allow other users to directly click on it. So you could possibly uh, add a CGI tool in your Omnibus event viewer so you can right click and allow users to get directly to a topology associated with a node or any number of other things. So it's an extremely useful feature I think. 
So this is the graphical interface. This is the user interface for Agile Service Manager. There are a couple of additional functions that I'm going to cover in a later video, but I just wanted to give an overview of what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully you'll come back soon to see more videos. Thank you.